right, guys. We're back. We're here. We got it. It's the MC12 from I2C, the solderless face ID activator repair solution that we've all been waiting for. So we're going to do a quick unboxing here. Uh, this is the main packaging, information about the device on the back, QR codes on the side, taking you some additional information. So sliding the insert out, you'll be presented here with the activator, protective cover, take that off. See the screen. So you'll get your activator device and your USB power adapter. It won't come with a block, but you'll use any 5 volt, 2 amp block. And that'll plug into your wall adapter. So the device here, uh, we've been waiting on the MC12 from I2C for a couple of weeks. So you'll see uh, 1.4 is the version that it contains, and it's already in English. So we went ahead and updated all the devices. And when you purchase it off the website today, uh, you will be presented with a fully updated device when it arrives to you, and it will already be in English. Um, so the other devices were some incremental updates uh, that had to be initially installed before any operation. So you will receive the MC12 fully updated and ready to be used. Um, so again, you'll just use your power adapter, plugging it in as well to your wall outlet. And then when you plug it into the bottom, LED indicator to let you know that you're ready to go. So you'll see an array of flexes here, X through 11 Pro Max. We do have the 12 series uh, will be listed as well. Um, so when you purchase those, you'll get those. That'll be the biggest perk from I2C at this point is the new design flex from uh, them uh, for the 12 series. We've noticed from different manufacturers that it's requiring a lot of folding and a lot of stress and hassle to get those reinstalled back into the housing once uh, the tag on is installed. Um, so that's going to be very beneficial. And as well, you'll notice that the uh, power adapter cable is just USB. So it is a low power uh, activation solution. Um, so the low power is a uh, difference from the other manufacturers uh, providing a 12 volt uh, activation solution. So the low voltage, low power solution is nice from them. And then having the newly designed flexes, uh, all of these benefits that we've been waiting for, you know, help preference of, of the delay. So we appreciate the time and effort that it took, and we're glad that we do have it available for you guys. Uh, so what I want to do is enough with the unboxing. Let's just get right into the demonstration about what it takes. Um, so I have a 12 Pro Max that we're going to kind of walk through, and I'll show you what it looks like to kind of utilize this device and the flexes here. So again, thank you, and let's get into it. All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be working on the 12 Pro Max. <clears throat> You'll see that Face ID has been disabled um, and needs to be repaired. So we'll just notate that notification. We'll get our MC12 activator device. You're going to want to hold down the button for five seconds to change that to English once you've got it plugged in with your USB-C cable. You will be provided with a uh, USB uh, power adapter. 5 volt, 2 amp, you just want to use any block uh, with those measurements, plugging it into your surge protector and the other end into the bottom of the MC12. You'll notice it's connected properly with the LED light. The remaining steps will be done on the PC, so we'll connect the MC12 activator and the device that needs to be repaired to the PC at the same time. And we'll open up the I2C maintenance assistant on your PC. <coughs> Once that opens, you're going to take the device, uh, power it down, and we're going to remove the true depth assembly from the device completely. And we're going to go ahead and connect it to the MC12. So whatever model you're working on, you'll connect it to the FPC on the device. So navigate to the Face ID section. First thing you do is click backup data to the cloud. That's very important. You'll see it takes a couple of seconds. It's uploaded to the server and saved locally, but don't skip that step. Second, you want to click activate. You'll be presented with a notification, a reminder that you want to use the 5 volt 2 amp power adapter and it must be used. <coughs> so click yes and wait for that fix to be finished. And now that that repair is done, we're going to grab our tag on flex. So like I said, whatever model you're working on, we'll grab our 12 Pro Max tag on flex. And once we have it removed from the packaging, we'll go ahead and connect it. So we'll go ahead and disconnect the true depth assembly 
and then plug in our tag on flex directly to the MC12. Back over to the PC, third step is click burn cloud data. So that's gonna take the data that you previously backed up and that's gonna go ahead and flash it, burn it, write it to that tag on flex. After we get a successful write, we'll go ahead and install the tag on flex and install the true depth assembly back into the device. So what we'll do here is I'll show you about how to install the tag on flex for this particular model. Uh, there is some folding that is required, uh, but not as much that is uh, usually required from uh, previous manufacturers. Uh, one of the benefits of I2C is having this uh, uniquely designed flex that doesn't require um, as much hassle uh, to get installed. Um, so you will have to bend and fold the original flex. Um, though it is hard to see, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, insert a more detailed uh, diagram of how to install that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and fold this flex uh, directly up. So just fold it straight up. And then you'll grab the tag on flex and you'll just connect the FPC of the tag on flex to the original FPC uh, that would normally connect to the logic board. So you'll go up under the bracket and connect that directly on top and that should align. And then the flex from the tag on will come down and align exactly in place. And then we'll take and fold the upper portion at a 90 degree angle so it will sit in the frame properly. So now we'll go ahead and get the true depth assembly installed back into the phone. So we'll turn our phone back off and position this in the right area. And you'll see that 90 degree portion just tucks in right at the top and the tag on is aligned and connects where it should be. No extra bent up, jumbled up cables. So we'll go ahead and power on the device and check and test our results. And now that the device is on, I'm just gonna make sure our screen is aligned, make sure we don't have any alignment issues. <coughs> you can see the front camera is working good. Go into face ID and no more message. We'll go ahead and try to set up face ID at our face position and successful. So as you can see, <coughs> not much was required. No grinding, no decoupling, no separation of projector from crystal, no soldering, no realignment, none of that. So you'll get your power adapter cable and you'll get the MC12 activator in the box and we'll have them listed on the website. Any other questions, just let us know. Thanks for choosing Ninja Gadgets. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. Till next time, Ninja Gadgets.